and welcome to another episode of the Hey Girl Podcast. We're your hosts, Bethany Needham and Laurie Casagrande. And each week, we get to share with you stories from women of all ages and stages of life who are following Jesus right where they're at. Our prayer is that each story encourages you to run your race in your place. Laurie, are you ready for this? We have been going back and forth on what we should call this episode. We know what we're doing, but we don't necessarily know what it should be called. But I technically don't have a name. I lied. I didn't think of a name. But I oh, know man. what I know what our intro song should be. It needs to be the one from Sound of Music that's like, when the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite things and then I don't feel so bad. That's Woo! our intro. <laughs> You're such a good singer. If you, I sing to you guys, you would immediately turn off this podcast. Oh, but no, you're you singing actually, in the next one. No, not happening. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. We wanted to do a special bonus episode on some of our favorite things because we do a lot of interviews. We absolutely love them. Um, but we also talk a lot about running your race in your place, about being healthy in that, all of these things. And... Along the way, we come across things in our own journey that we love so much that we want to tell you all about them. Because I'm somebody that if you had something that you loved, I'd want you to share it with me. So I have friends in my life that when they read an awesome book, they send me a book recommendation, you know, they find out about a new company, etc. So this is our chance to do this for our listeners. Yay! Are you so pumped? So the way that we're going to do it is love it or love it, because <laughs> we love everything. And we're going to talk about our mind, body, and soul today. Nice. So Because it's all connected. Yes. And once you hear this, let us know, oh, I totally agree, or have you guys heard about this? We want. Oh yeah, this is send interactive. us your love. This is not a one-way street. Ladies. I love it. Okay, let's start with mind. Okay. So for me, it's mine's kind of lame, but it is right now. How I am feeding my mind and fueling it is through my local library, because I no longer have a book budget. We're kind of like streamlining our budget because we're we're Dave Ram. We're like. What do you call it when you Dave Ramsey your debt? We're going after our debt. Use it as a verb. You're getting Ramseyed. Yeah. We're getting, <laughs> ram- we're getting Ramseyed. Free advertisement for him. So because of that, I can't be on like the Amazons ordering things all the time. And yeah. so therefore, my local library has been a godsend. And I found some awesome books. And I'm really loving it. And it is helping. It's helping me continue to feed my mind And it's also helping me read books outside of genres I necessarily would otherwise read because the Christian book section in my library is really, really sad. Little itty bitty. (laughs) It's like a shelf. So, but it's been really good. I'm enjoying that. So that's my mind. I am totally with you. I feel like just wandering around a library, seeing what you come across. That is a really good weekend activity. Absolutely. All right, how are you feeding your mind? All right. What? I thought that one was soul. Was that mind? (laughs) (laughs) I feel like they all intertwine somehow. Like if your soul is fed, your mind's fed, everything's just great. Um, So my mind is really dorky. Um, At my job, I have to be very organized. And I love color coding and bolding and bullets and like getting things like cleaned up and looking at like, okay, these are the things I have to do. My to-do list at work, it's like green if it's active, orange if it's on hold, it's yellow if it's like, eh, if I have time to get to it, you know, that I yield sign. That. So um, but my mind stays organized when I can make everything look pretty and colorful and bolded and simple. That's, that's like a declutter, like it declutters your mind. Oh, yeah. That's such good advice. I'm taking that. Right now. I have some things that I need to color code. I'll show you mine and we'll work on it together. For real. I love it. So next topic, Bethany, let's hear a little bit about your body. (laughs) (laughs) Wouldn't you love it? Okay. So body, I, I'm on day something, day 50. Just make it up. They won't know. 80 day obsession. (laughs) Okay. Here's the thing. What was it? 80 day obsession. It's a program through Beachbody. So I, 
I did like a beach body workout years and years ago, just like some ab video and absolutely loved it, but honestly haven't really touched it since. Like I haven't gone near it. And I have quite a few friends that are coaches, but one lady in particular, Miss Danielle, had reached out to me a couple of times. We actually met for coffee and chatted. And I don't remember how exactly this worked, but this program came out. And here's my thing about workout programs. I am one of these people that the thing about Beachbody that was almost a deterrent for me, I don't want to say a turn off, but like a deterrent was it's a it's big on working out from home. So it's a convenience thing. Like you don't have to go to the gym. You can work out from home. But I'm that weirdo that's like, yeah, I don't like working out at home. I want to go to the gym. And so I always saw Beachbody as like, this is probably not going to work for me. But this program came out and I looked it over and realized that it's designed in such a way that I could take my workouts to the gym and do them almost like having a little personal trainer on my phone come and tell me what to do. And it was this combination of exercise and food. And I had gotten to this place where I was like, okay, I have to do something. Like I've had a terrible couple of years not taking care of myself and my health has totally paid the price. And just like we said a moment ago, like I honestly think my the health of my body, it impacts my spiritual health, my the health of my mind, all of that. A hundred percent. So I decided I needed to do something and why not this? Because I'm actually one of these people that would say most programs work. Like I'm not one that's like this program works and others don't. Most of them, a lot of them work as long as you do them, like do them the way that they're designed to be done. So I knew it wasn't about a magic program. It was about me just committing to something. And so I committed to this 80 day obsession. It was horrible at the beginning. Like it was so hard. And I was like, I'm so out of shape and I wanted to quit, but something in me, stubbornness. Hmm, what could that have been? <laughs> I don't know. Jesus. Jesus in me. I was like, nope, I'm going to keep going. And I've stuck with it for officially 55 days so far. Today's day 55. I'm feeling so much better. And the workouts I'm actually able to do now. And I've Worked so hard on the nutrition side, and tonight, I just want to say, um, everybody in my house ordered in Chick-fil-A. Like, my husband went out and got it. Thank you, Laurie, for giving him the idea. And I watched Laurie eat Chick-fil-A right in front of me, like... Literally. Literally in front of me, and she is my witness. I still have the crumbs on my fingers. I can still smell it, y'all. I don't even like fast food that much, but... Well, we, Chick-fil-A is different. We had to go. Chick-fil-A is Christian fast food. Oh, okay. So it's it's blessed, but... Yeah, that whole helping the body, mind, and soul, yep. But I decided, you know what? Tonight, I'm going to go down, make my grilled chicken. I had, like, sweet potatoes I baked up at the beginning of the week, sauteed some spinach. Like, you saw. I ate healthy, and here's the weird thing. I'm not one of these people that just naturally goes that direction, but in this program, I feel like it's changed my cravings, like it's changed the way that my body's responding to things. It's absolutely my favorite thing right now. In fact, I would tell people, if you're listening and you're like, I've been wondering what I should do, like you're kind of like where I was, I need to choose. First of all, just choose something. Choose something that works for you, stick to it, it'll work. But if this program sounds interesting to you, get a coach, do 80 Day Obsession, it's so fun. And if you like to work at a home, you can, but if you like to go to the gym, you can do that too. It's like the best of all worlds. Clearly you're obsessed with this program. I am obsessed with A to Damn Session. Okay. Bye. Laurie, how's the bod? So, <laughs> like, listeners, some of you know I like to do yoga and go hiking, but when I was thinking about body, I was thinking about how it's been so nice that it's been getting a little bit warmer. We're in springtime, and it feels so good to have... The days are longer. We've had some warm days. I put up my trampoline. That's amazing. But when I think of body, I love the sun 
beating on your body. Yes. So if there's like a window in my house where the sun's coming through as it's like going down for the day, I like sit in that one spot. Or outside, if there's like a shady part of our yard, my husband will laugh because I literally walk to like the edge of the shade and it might be in like an <laughs> awkward spot in our backyard just like in the middle of the grass he's like why why are you standing over there like the fire pits over here I'm like because the sun it's still shining a little bit and it the vitamin d ah oh, that's what gets my body saying hallelujah I am just imagining more days this <laughs> summer where you come over and we're just sunbathing by the pool because I'm with you. I'm uh, a, I'm like, I will chase the sun. Yeah. I will chase it around my yard. We're going to get just, it. Yeah. And listeners, we don't need messages about how bad it is for our skin. We know. But it's so good. Well, yeah. It's so good. Okay. I love it. <laughs> okay. That's body. We got one more. Tell me about your spirit. My soul. (laughs) Okay, so I know you just said that you don't want to go on Amazon and buy something else, but... I can't be going on the Amazon. This is probably $10. I'll loan you the money. (laughs) There is a book. It's called The Five-Year Journal. I Instagrammed it last week. I bought it in Portland, Oregon. They have a very cool bookshop there. I can't remember the name of it. But anyways, I bought it there approximately five years ago. And each day it asks you a question. It might say, uh, what celebrity would you want to meet if you could meet anyone? Or it might say, who's your best friend right now? Or what did you have for breakfast? There are all these random questions. Some are deep, some are like more superficial, like what's your favorite piece of clothing? And then others are like, what is your dream for your life? Or what would you want your legacy to be? And so every day I try to fill it out. There's been some days that I miss and I'm like, that's okay. I'll just try next year. But basically I've had it since 2012 and it's been very cool because when I got it, I was younger in my career. I still lived at home. I wasn't married. And so now, um, basically every year you fill it out. So a few years ago, I'd be like my roommates, haha, my parents, and I are, you know, eating dinner. And now it'll be like my husband and I are going out for dinner. So it's just cool. You see how some things stay the same and some things change over your life. But the reason I love it for my soul was because it's so cool to just reflect on your life and also see those God's footprints or handprints, fingerprints, whatever you want to call it. Whatever in prints your life. he leaves yeah, behind. Yeah, those prints. And uh, two years ago, the question of the day was, um, like, what hobby do you want to learn? And I wrote that I want to learn the drums. And now, today, I am taking drum lessons. Yeah. And it's so totally dorky. Oh, sorry, I went away from the mic. It's so mm-hmm. totally do- dorky because it's mostly teenagers that take the lessons. And I've never done music before, so I literally had to start from scratch. But one, it makes your mind think differently, like playing music versus, I don't know, it it like opens up this new part of my brain, I guess. And it's just so much fun and it's challenging. It's out of my comfort zone. And that type of thing is really feeding my soul right now and reading it in the book of like, hey, I want to do this, but I'm actually putting it into action, I want to encourage our listeners that there's something that you were like, hey, that would be cool if I took a class at my local college or if I got a, you know, part-time job here or volunteered here, big brother, big sister, whatever it is, if you've thought about it, like, hey, put that into action, feed your soul a little bit, do something fun. I love it. And I love that you're taking drum lessons right now. But um, <laughs> I'm already seeing the fruit of all of it. I am not good, but someday. So uh, Bethany, what's feeding your soul? Oh. Spirit. Okay. So my, I have mentioned this item before, but it's worth mentioning multiple times in case anyone hasn't heard already. I have a write the word journal and The reason right now that it is probably top of my list is the job that I'm doing part-time is an opening shift. And so I have to wake up at 3.30 in the morning. And so I literally have on the days that I work just that super early morning time with Jesus before I have to go to work. And so it is hard to find things that I'm like can really be quiet before God and really just try and 
I don't know, to me, like anchor in for the day. And I love how the Write the Word journal is laid out for that, for those sweet moments with Jesus before I go to work. It's like, you know, you put the date or whatever, and then it gives you a scripture passage. You write it out. Like it just gives you this place to write it out, which kind of makes you have to think about it. Yeah. Yeah. And in the back, it asks you just for, okay, your thoughts. And you can put anything in there. Like you could write a prayer. For me, I actually take that moment to write out, okay, what are the things today that I that I know are in front of me? Almost what we talked about with one of our interviews recently, it's almost like a prayer in my heart of, okay, God, what are the things today that you've placed in front of me? Like the things I want to be faithful in, things I don't want to miss. And so it can be anything as like shallow as, hey, I need to make sure to go to the grocery store because I need such and such. Or, hey, I need to connect with this friend because you've been laying them on my heart. And so I kind of write it out in bullet point, like here are some things. And then the very end of it is just like pick a word for the day and let this be the thing that you kind of sit. And I mentioned to you earlier, but God's been teaching me this lesson about really listening to him, not just asking him questions, but actually listening. And so my word for like three weeks now has been listen, just listen. And some of that is even just listening for where he is speaking in or what, even just watching what he's doing. And that's I've noticed a difference at work when I'm around at the grocery store, how much more in tune to things I am when people start a conversation with me or whatever that I, it just helps set me in this place of awareness of really listening to God and what he's doing. And every single morning when I pull out that write the word journal, I feel like it resets that. And it's kind of like a fresh start anchor in, okay, let's go into the day. So it's that's, so cool too that it's so early in the morning. So like your brain's not even fully functioning. So it's like, what did I even write when I was like, you know, roll out of bed? Like what's on your heart? What You, you might've just dreamt something and just oh, kind of yeah. get it out before even the day influences you. Because by the afternoon, like when I get the chance to come back around to it, I'm pretty worn. Like I've done a work yeah. shift. I've been up for a long time. It's almost like it helps that I've already written all that down and I can go back and be like, oh yeah, because- Let's be real, my brain is not fully functioning most of the time, but sometimes I feel like God speaks things to me at that crazy early morning hour that I wouldn't necessarily have been a, like aware enough to listen to later in the day, but now it's written down and I can go back to it and be like, I totally need to reach out to that friend. Like Almost like on a smaller scale, the drum lesson thing for you, the things that easily make that Uh, make that list of, yeah, someday, or at some point I will, it forces me into action every day. Like, okay, God, this is in front of me today. What am I going to do about it? Like, so that's my spirit. Those are all my loves right now. Love, 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 love episode. I mean, I have so many other loves, but we'll just, we'll stick with those. Oh, wait, we forgot our biggest love. Our listeners. (laughs) We love you guys. We do, for real. And here's the thing. Uh, if, if you don't write us back, then we haven't gotten any more new things to love. So we need you to respond. So on our Instagram, uh, send it to either comment, send us what about a direct hashtag? messages. You can hashtag, we should have thought of this before. Love, hey girl, hey girl, love. Hey girl, love. I like that. Let's do that. Hey girl, love. Hashtag hey girl, love. Uh, Give us your favorite things. You can put them in the whole body, mind, spirit, or whatever. But we want to know what you're loving these days. And if you love this episode, let us know because we would love to do more. You know, the word love fits into a lot of things. I feel like I should make kissy noises. (laughs) (laughs) Wrong kind of love, Laurie. All right, listeners, thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this special bonus episode. And we look forward to hearing from you. Bye, girls. Bye.